What up, gamers? It's your boy King Thrash back at it once again in another video. Remember to like, subscribe. If you don't like, don't subscribe. Look, out of all this shit that's going on in gaming and outside of gaming, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Black Lives Matter, stand up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I've seen some shit, some white people mad and shit. They <laughs> video games got Black Lives Matter in their games. They talking about they gonna stop console gaming. I'm like, bitch, shut the. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, niggas? Why are gamers? You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Old ass white nigga. This nigga said he was 37, looking 56, talking about some goddamn. He gonna stop buying consoles because uh, uh, reasons. I mean, I'm, let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you something. This not even to get political. Let me tell you something real quick though, my nigga. When black people say black lives matter, they're not saying nobody else matters. We're saying that everybody else matters except blacks when you look at what the fuck is going on. So we're saying, look, black lives matter, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We don't not matter, my nigga. We're not saying that whites don't matter, bitch. It's fucking apparent, you fuck niggas. I never heard of black privilege, have you, nigga? I'm not saying that all white people, you know, got privilege. Everybody has their own fucking struggles, but I don't give a fuck about what none of y'all niggas talking about if you want to ignore uh, what the goings on in America. My nigga, other countries know the goings on in America because it's happening in other countries too. You know what I'm saying? So, when black people are saying Black Lives Matter, it doesn't, and it, it shouldn't uh, offend white people. It, it, not, not everything includes you, my nigga. Like, fuck, not everything includes you. Okay? Not everything has to be, like, everything black people do, we feel as though it's a threat towards white people. And that's so fucking stupid, my nigga. It's so dumb. And for and those of you who still have that mindset, need to upgrade your fucking brains real quick and realize that the world doesn't, like, revolve around you, my nigga. Or, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. it, doesn't, it it's not about you. Black Lives Matter, it's not about me. It's about... People. It's about a community that has clearly been fucked off. All right, and they're saying like, look, we matter too. We're not saying fuck white people. Motherfuckers are saying that we matter as well, my nigga. That's what it means. You know English. You made it up, okay? <laughs> and when I say you made it up, I mean that nobody in America speaks proper English, my nigga. Go to England. You know what I'm saying? Or listen to Gordon Ramsay for 30 minutes, and you'll hear proper English, my nigga, because they're from England, England, English. Okay, so the way you talk, nigga, ain't the right way either, nigga. So, damn, just look, fuck, fuck. I, I, I told you I wouldn't get, I wasn't gonna get political. My bad, my bad. It's just seeing gamers say some shit like that. It's like, what the fuck? If I could overhand slap the fuck out of a nigga, nigga, I would. I really would. I would leg drop this nigga like Hulk Hogan in the '80s. Fuck. Anyway, nigga. Let's talk about this Tim Sweetie in the SSD, nigga. Let's go. Thrash. Whole panel, foul mouth like sheet wallets when he fouled out. Nigga, speak up or get drowned out like kill the tape when it sounds like a chat room full of fuck niggas. Fuck yeah. S lay in that buck nigga. Zelda Coon in that dust nigga. Dust Emmanuel, he a sus nigga. Sus Ice cream, pitch black, D not in income tax. Spartan God plus rated D and J Tech sitting in the back. Cypher board, beat Tim. Chris Hart look like Little Kim. Fake gamers get insta block like Fedger say we don't fuck with them. Crosshairs ain't got no bitches. Panda Mark got the swine show. Derek Lewis be spamming Stop shit. That. Ghost faces from Pyro. John Tuka be lying too. Yep. Big Cloud be spying too. The nigga Eric. Tim Sweeney has said. Well, there's a couple things that happened. You had this one nigga. I don't, I don't, I don't watch too many big channels because I feel, I feel as though a lot of the motherfuckers are scripted. Or, you know, just not my, my, my stilo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have my own uh, set of niggas that I watch. You know, and I watch a lot of shit. I watch a lot of smaller channels. Like, not, and I don't know no no racial shit. And I don't know, oh, he's a nerd. Or not, and, and, and I listen to everybody. I just don't like to listen to big channels. I don't know what it is. They just turn me off. I think the fake level, it just the fucks with me. You know what I'm saying? I, just can't, I can't pay attention to the fake levelness. You know what I'm saying? And even some small channels I've seen trying to be fake for money. I can't, I can't, I, it's just boring to me, bro, it, there's no, there's no true gamerness within them, you know what I'm saying, and this guy is not even a gamer, but I have seen his video because his video was controversial, and he made an apology video, all that shit, go to Sick Humor's channel, he put a whole podcast together over the dumbness of this guy, but, um, this plays into what I'm talking about with Tim Sweeney, first, Tim Sweeney comes out and says, this SSD is top notch, right? 
And this guy comes out and he pulls out this fucking SSD that not only won't work on your fucking PC, but it's it's it costs a grip of shit and he clearly wasn't understanding what the fuck he was talking about, right? And the nigga comes and he apologizes and shit, you know, oh, I'm sorry, you know, he fucking puts a fucking thumbnail, thumbnail of his fucking face looking all sad like he's, he did an imperfect thing, uh, imperfect thing and he goes on in the video talking about how he was listening to one nigga and he didn't check anything or listen to anything, he just spoke while not thinking and that's cool, right? Good, nigga, you apologize and shit, I, I, I don't care, I don't care what you said in the beginning, I don't care what you said in the end, the point stands that this SSD has gotten motherfuckers so out of their asses that even the quote-unquote professional motherfuckers, even the quote-unquote big channels, the, the motherfuckers who do this PC computer shit don't get it. And it's like, fuck, why do I get it? Why do I understand that what Sony has put together is something that's going to change gaming? Right? And there's a lot of Xbox guys that be coming at me, you know what I'm saying, you know, I mean, I don't mind that. I, I hug them niggas, you know, because they're not used to love, you know, they're used to getting slapped around by Phil Spencer and shit, you know. Bat, you fucking bitch ass, go get some batteries, they're used to that shit. You know what I'm saying, me, I'm just, I'm more on the level of trying to, you know, embrace their, the idiocy that happens, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, I keep getting hit, they keep sending me, they used to send me this guy, like, this guy who just apologized, was making funny. Is that those niggas now don't want to even act like they know this nigga. Like, this motherfucker was... They, people, I, the only reason I've seen the, the first video of this guy is because of Twitter and niggas on, on my chat section sending me this nigga's video saying, Oh, this SSD is faster. <laughs> you know? And it's like, God, not only were your insecurities put on blast, the one motherfucking weapon that you felt that you had has come out and apologized about his wrongness and then you know you don't like <laughs> you just act like that shit never fucking happened but on top of all that news on top of Tim Sweeney ether in this nigga it also come to find out that they had to retool the motherfucking epic engine the unreal engine in order to take it, to take more or even full advantage of the PlayStation 5, and this is the type of shit that I've been preaching to you niggas for a long time. It's, it's coming to the point. Like it's, if they're designing shit that's made for the PS, they have to redesign the fucking shit for the PS5, and not the Xbox, my nigga. There are going to be things for the Unreal Engine. That can be done. That can't be done on the Xbox without a downscale. I think motherfuckers are in for a fucking surprise. Motherfuckers are in for a surprise because teraflops are being put on call. They are putting put on notice. That argument that Microsoft created with the whole teraflop thing, it's getting put on notice, and it should have been put on notice and apparent for you niggas this generation, as there is absolutely no game that took advantage of that six teraflops of power because there's more to it than the six teraflops of power. You could lose six, ter six teraflops of power, but then how would my game run if I utilize all that power? You know, same thing with this shit, and even that one nigga, um, Chaborno, nigga, whatever the fuck that nigga name is, <laughs> that EA dev. <laughs> Like, he even said the same thing. Like, teraflops aren't the way to to measure your fucking game. It's it's not a solid number because there's so many different caveats to get, that go around that shit. What is solid is the SSD. And you, 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 you start to... It starts to come into mind, bro. Like, that if, if Epic is retooling their motherfucking engine to run PS5 better... To make that engine run on PS5 and utilize the PS5, then the Xbox has already lost because it's not it, it's not people people don't understand this. The SSD isn't supposed to win gamers like me and you. It, it's not supposed to win our mind share. It's not supposed to. It's designed for developers. Developers are the people who make the games. All this spec talk and shit has nothing to do with us bro and therefore like if microsoft 
and its console isn't appealing to developers it will show in the games just like the PS3 and the 360 there were two things going on in the PS3 and the 360 right the PS3 was more powerful and it had a blu-ray and, and because of that blu-ray some games was not even able to come to the Xbox but because of the cell processor and it was difficult to make games for Xbox had the advantage of games being better better optimized for the Xbox 360 right and on top of that the Xbox 360 was the lowest common denominator it was weaker than the PS3 and therefore the 360 had that advantage over the PS3 that's why the games were coming out better that's why it was it was getting some exclusive Sony had more games than the Xbox overall at the end of the generation but Xbox had far utilized far better utilized games they had games coming out sooner like Bayonetta Bayonetta came out sooner on the Xbox I believe it came out sooner and, and, and it is sooner or I know for a fact that it ran 10 times better on the Xbox even though the PlayStation was a weaker con I mean PlayStation was a stronger console due to the fact that the sale process was just so difficult to work for in this situation with the PS5 the Xbox is is the most powerful the PlayStation 4 is the uh, is the lower common denominator I mean the PlayStation 5 and I mean, the Xbox Series X sorry is the most powerful console the PS5 is the lowest common denominator as far as power goes and therefore these developers are going to make for that what Sony did though was make it to where they can do more with the PlayStation now they automatically made Xbox the second tier console they made the Xbox this console that they scaled down to it's fucking crazy like it's the as far as power goes you got this but then they got the SSD to where now they can redesign their games and make their games easier and faster and th therefore games third party games you might find them motherfuckers coming out sooner for the PlayStation than the Xbox it's like the opposite of the 360 PS3 you know what I'm saying play the Xbox is more powerful but it's harder to develop it's harder to develop for to where the PlayStation is less powerful but easier to develop for so it's like it, it's it's like a flip it's a whole flip in this motherfucking deal right here to where that say like people keep saying like oh the SSD won't be utilized except for first party and that's bullshit because I say that because if Unreal Engine 5 is made to utilize the SSD then you're gonna find third party games that are utilizing it. Sony has their own engines, especially their first party. The Decima engine basically built for the PS5. And so that you will see the best games on the PS5, hands down, no matter what, just like on the PS4. But now you're going to see third party games come out better optimized for the PS4. And on top of that, you're going to find games exclusively on the, I mean, I'm on the PS5. I'm, I'm, I just woke up, nigga, and there's a fucking lawnmower guy in the background. My nigga, all right? <laughs> but point still stands though my nigga like these niggas have it, it's it's a fucking rap if you if we're looking at everything at a whole it's a fucking rap the SSD is not the only thing about the PlayStation 5 is how the PlayStation 5 is built to utilize the SSD you know there's a lot of weak points and we're gonna have to wait and see exactly uh, how games come out looking as far as this generation goes but um, if if anything if anything we're going to see some of the greatest games come to the PS5 probably day one. Sony, if Sony is doing what I think they're doing, and I think that these motherfuckers are doing some, we're about to have a launch that is going to fuck everybody off. Like, if these niggas launch with Spider Man and Horizon, I don't give a fuck what Microsoft shows. I don't give a damn what my. It's a fucking rap. It is over at that point you know what I'm saying and I believe that that's what they're going to show I believe they're going to show Horizon and Spider-Man my nigga like I don't know if they're going to be day and date with the system I believe at least one of them will more than likely Horizon 2 they have more time to work on that the Decima engine is already being utilized and used and they're going to want to do that Guerrilla Games is the company that they usually turn to to do sort of a tech demo you know what I'm saying? Like, so I believe Horizon 2 is going to launch with the PS5 simply because that's what Guerrilla Game does. You know what I'm saying? They fucking tech demoed fucking 
the 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 PS4, I think, and the PS3 with Killzone 2, if I'm not mistaken, or Killzone or whatever. I'm gonna get, but I know Killzone Shadowfall. That was like a tech demo for the PS4 to show how beautiful uh, the games can be this generation. And if you, if we're being honest, it still stands up and holds its own against games that are coming out today. And if that happens, on top of all this shit that's going on, it's it's a fucking wrap. Like it's a fucking wrap, and I, and and, and, I, and I, in a way, to where I'm saying that the Xbox is gonna be gone, or the Xbox is is gonna retire. I mean, I think later down the line it will. I think this probably will be its last generation. I thought last generation was going to be it, but I think this one is because it's just so much going against it. They're going against themselves. They're putting their games on on the fucking PC and anywhere else they could do. Now on TVs, right? They fucking they did so they Sony did the same shit. I mean, uh, it's it's but it's worse because these niggas got their whole store available up in that bitch. So it's going to be some shit going on to where I don't believe that the Xbox is going to really last that long with this generation, bro. I really don't. And hopefully Sega moves in, but I doubt it. But it's just, it's just, it's, it's just, it's just looking so bleak to the point of, I don't even know why would anybody even be hyped for an Xbox. Like, a lot, I heard a lot of people say that, oh, this is Microsoft's last chance, but I heard that shit last E3, I heard that shit at E3 before that, especially last E3 when Sony didn't go, and everybody was like, look, this is Microsoft's chance. If they don't pull this off, it's over. They didn't pull it off, and now we're giving them the same excuse. Like, Y'all gotta realize that every time that they fucking disappointed people this generation, people have left the Xbox, bro. They have lex- left the Xbox. These motherfuckers are bragging about subscription numbers on a subscription they either gave for free on some fucking cookies or one dollar. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, we got 10 million subscribers. No, you don't got 10 million subscribers because they're not they're not um the subscribers that are there currently. They're just people who have subscribe and more than likely let their shit go like me i let my shit go you know what i'm saying i'm like nah fuck that i cut my shit nigga boom snip that motherfucker real quick my nigga and it's a lot of gamers who did that as well because they just wanted the third the the, the gears of five or something like that oh let me oh gears five a dollar okay let me get that shit let me get my month i'll beat gears five in a month and then that's it and that's why gears five has barely anybody playing it right now as far as the multiplayer goes I didn't say no one's playing it nigga you can find a game but barely anybody is fucking playing it bro and it's because they cheapened the brand they gave it out for a dollar so people are just sitting there buying it beat it played a little bit of shit for ever much time they had what is it two months don't take two months to beat fucking gears I think gears is like 10 hours 12 hours Fuck it, fuck it. 24 hours, 30 hours. Let's say it's 30 hours, nigga. And that's more than enough time in two months. I spent 30 hours in this fucking Persona game right here, right now, my nigga. And I'm barely past the first fucking castle. You know what I'm saying? And I'm t- it's my second time playing it because I'm a beast. Nigga, this game is fucking classic, my nigga. So I had to play the royal version, which I, I do recommend people playing because there's enough new shit in here to be, like, to be like, damn, I don't even remember this shit happening. But what Microsoft is trying to do here is get concurrent players on Games Pass and have you guys keep paying for them as you wait. And it's like, like there's nothing else coming out this generation that's worthwhile, worth you having uh, Games Pass. But they're using the cannon fodder games to keep you going on Games Pass, right? To where you don't own these games, you're just paying them a, 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 a fucking fee to rent, right? And they want they need for this shit to be successful they need you to stay on that's why they bought all these fucking developers i went over this shit before they bought all these developers just to put out quick fire games like fucking bleeding edge a game that could be made and finished in a year or two put it out it doesn't have to be a triple a experience you can leave that shit for halo gears and forza and that will keep you pushing and keep you going they can say oh this game is day and date with all the people that they just bought Regardless of how garbage it is, you know what I'm saying. So they want concurrent players, but they're not getting them. And you can tell because of Gears. Gears is one of those games that keep 
players playing because of the online multiplayer, but then they fucked off the online multiplayer by making people pay for fucking fatalities and $20 fucking DLCs. That's automatically a disrespect, and I think they're not realizing that they're disrespecting these gamers, and these gamers are like, I'm not gonna fucking do it. They'll let their fucking shit go. Period. I did it. Who ain't, Who else ain't gonna do it? You know what I'm saying? On, to on top of, they're not even counting the, how you can game share fucking Games Pass. And they get, oh, we got 10 million subscribers. You might as well say 5 million because you could fucking literally game share Games Pass. It's fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. No matter how much they try to hide the numbers, no matter how much they try to um, give you revenue numbers instead of profit or, or whatever the fuck, no matter how much they're going to try to celebrate at the end of the day, it's getting worse. And fucking worse for Xbox. PlayStation already has the mind share of not only gamers but developers. It is like the worst case scenario for the Xbox because they are depending on third party games to keep it nose to nose with PlayStation. They know there are going to be some third party, third party players out there who are going to be making games, or third party developers basically, are going to be making these fucking games for niggas. And they're going to be like, okay, kind of like Red Dead. Like, oh yeah, look at our third party. This look better because the resolution is up. They, they're hoping that this shit happens. But if Sony has convinced them to use that motherfucking SSD, if they're fucking using um, Unreal Engine 5 and that shit uses, utilizing, and they start just easily utilizing the things that PS5 has, there is going to be a gigantic problem because if not only they're going to fail in third party, they're going to fail in first party, and they're going to fail in subscription models. And it's going to be a wrap after that. Microsoft didn't take the time out to make a true next generation console because they wanted to save so much money. And you shouldn't, that shit, that shit shouldn't be something that you niggas stand quiet about because that's all you used to talk about is how much money Microsoft has. There's always money and power with them, but they can't utilize the power because they don't got the talent to do so. And they're not utilizing the money because the Nadella is like, I'm not giving y'all no more money, dog. So it's it, it's it, we're at the point now to where this generation is already looking bad for the Xbox. And I wish that wasn't so. But Tim Sweeney himself has proven that this is next level. Right? Not all not not only all these developers coming out and telling you that this is next level. Tim Sweeney himself is saying that shit. And Tim Sweeney is over here, they're changing their fucking epic games cards and they're changing their I mean their epic engines and they're 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 utilizing the PS5. They had to change it to utilize they had to change it. That's crazy. They didn't have to change anything for the Xbox. Nobody's saying nothing like that about the Xbox. But they had to do it for the PS5. I mean, if these aren't the signs, <laughs> if you, then you're not trying to see them. Like, and it's, it shouldn't be about oh, Xbox is gonna win or lose or draw or whatever the fuck, my nigga. It's not about win, losing or drawing with them niggas. It's more of you. You need to you need to pay attention to what's going on because Xbox is just something that you probably shouldn't be investing in if you want the best games. And if you like Microsoft games, then invest in an Xbox and get that shit. Just don't expect it to blow your mind anymore i don't but we'll see what it is my nigga that's what i got to say on this matter my nigga i thought that niggas was asking me to talk about the tim sweeney shit this is my thought and my view on that motherfucker and it's a fucking rap it is a fucking rap just keep gaming nigga i'm gone